Welcome again to the second part of uh, hydrological model development. In this part, we are going to focus on watershed delineation. So, the window we have to locate the DM, load from disk, and in the GIS data, I have put one folder for DM. So, locate this. If we minimize, the DM look, looks like this. I just got it from SRTM website and extract by mask so now we have to reproject it with a uh, unit we have to give a projection system it's better to have a local one because it was in geographic coordinate system now we are going to give a projected coordinate system and now we are going to burn with river file river map so once you burn it you can see that the river map is superimposed on this so these are the rivers now let's click on the flow, di uh, flow direction and accumulation it will give the direction of the flow so once it is done there is a, we can keep the default threshold value this has a very significant influence when you go for a very s when, when we we model for very small streams also so in that case we have to put smaller number so let's first see with the default value so it is working it takes some time once it's done it will pop up this message so now 38,000 is the threshold area it's in a hectare so it means that from this this uh, point this outlet the, the associated area is 38,000 the minimum delineated area the, the, the minimum watershed the minimum area is uh, 38,000 but in case we remove smaller it will give the more smaller streams so now we can add uh, sub basin outlet we can use a in uh, built in tbf file so it added eight more outlet so there is no duplication so we can accept it by the way we can add outlet through the interface so there is a option for adding outlet so we can add some outlet let's say we want we want to focus one more streams here or one little streams here so we can do it and and if yes we we can save it and for the moment i am not going to use because i we're just making a basic model and there are other option inlet outlet and point source we can add some point source we we can delete some outlet there's quite a lot of flexibility so now let's select one in, in that case we have to drag and drop with the mouse and then ok afterward we are going to click on the green stuff green marker so it will give the size of the watershed it will give the area of the watershed in this process it takes also, also a bit of time based on the computer speed the processor so it's done now we can have a quick look what does it prepared for us so here is one, two, three, four, five columns. So shape area, grid code. There is not much thing. Here also it gave some kind of 17 grid code, 17 sub basin. It's just preparing the sub basins. Now we can go for the sub basin parameter calculation. This is the most con time consuming part so it depends on the size of the watershed it will calculate the longest path it will calculate quite a lot of things like elevation its location mean elevation maximum elevation once it is done we can have a look with the watershed file it takes time based on the processor speed and the type of size of the watershed so it's done now we can have a look to the same file that we have looked few minutes ago so you can see now there was only four or five columns now there are additional column 
that they gave latitude, longitude, and the elevation, mean, max, and other hydro ID based on the arc hydro algorithm. Now we can go for we can add some reservoir. If there is a reservoir in, inside of a watershed, we can add it in this phase, and then we can give the characteristics of the reservoir principal surface area and if not then we can exceed it make sure that we are not uh, crossing the corner the cross corner because it does some cleaning process of the additional polygon that it created so that's how it will look like after the watershed delineation and the next step would be to HRU definition HRU analysis we are going to do that in the next phase of the tutorials for the moment that's all and again, do not hesitate to drop me a message in case if you need some help. Thanks for watching.